Windows has some powerful built-in utilities that can help you really solve a lot of your computer issues and make your computer life a lot easier. These works on Windows 10 and Windows 11, so let's get started. So your computer seems to be behaving perfectly fine, then all of a sudden, out of the blue, something goes wrong. And as you try to work out what's happening, it magically fixes itself. Don't you just hate that? So this tool is an absolute must to work out what's going on. Back to our Windows search we go, and this time we're gonna type there Control Panel. You'll see this little app, click on that when that pops up. We're gonna go into System and Security. Click on that. And over here, we're gonna go to Security and Maintenance. And once we clicked on that, under Maintenance, click the little drop down arrow, and you'll see View Reliability History. What an awesome tool that's hardly been used, because look at what it gives you. You can click on any day with a little X, and it will tell you, there is a critical event that happened. This particular software stopped working. The little eye is information. It's just basically gonna give you some information when things were updated. The exclamation marks are some warning stuff. And you can click on view technical details to see the issue. So use this report to find out which software is causing issues on your computer. Did you know that Windows has a built-in tool that allows you to perform specific tasks when something happens? I use this to automatically optimize my Wi-Fi and internet connection, so feel free to steal my script for your network. In Windows, go down to the search and then type this task scheduler and you'll see this app that pops up. Simply click on that. Don't get afraid with this particular screen. We wanna to go to the left-hand side, right-click on the folder and then choose new folder. We're gonna give it a name called My Tasks. I wanna keep my automatic task away from what the computer is currently doing. Now we head over to the right hand side and we're gonna click on Create Basic Task. Let's create a new task and this one is gonna be my network hygiene task. This is the one you're gonna steal from me. When do I want this thing to run? I want this thing to run daily. Well, when? I wanna run it at one in the morning and I wanna run it every single day. What program is it gonna start? Well, watch this. So now we have to write a little program. Go down into search and then type there notepad. Now under notepad, simply paste the lines that will be in the description. The first one releases your IP address from your computer. And second line, it's the timer. Just gives a little break between releasing your IP and the next task, which is basically IP config renew. Give me a new IP address from my router and then another break and then IP config flash DNS. I wanna get rid of the DNS entries that I have and get fresh new ones. Okay, now this is the important bit. Click on file, click on save as, choose a location on your computer. Now you have to do this. Under save type, change it to all types. And under the file name, here you can give it any name, but it needs to have a dot B-A-T as the extension, dot bat, which is basically a batch file. Once we've done that, what we're gonna do is click on save, go back into my task and go browse for it. And there it is on my computer in that particular location. There is my network. I'm gonna double click on that, click on next, click on finish. Now every day at one o'clock in the morning, this is gonna run my script. So that script is simple and effective way to keep your network connection nice and fresh. Now there are more commands that you can use. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about that. If your computer is still running slow or has become all of a sudden unresponsive, a lot of people simply reboot their computer and then the issues goes away. But you may not need to do this when you can simply kill the application that's causing the issue. Now, this has been around for a long time, super useful. Right click on your taskbar and choose Task Manager or Control, Shift and Escape and that will automatically bring up the Task Manager. That's important because in Windows 11, they cannot access it from the taskbar for some reason. Now, what this does for those who've never used this before, it tells you, hey, what's going on in my computer? What's running right now? What's eating up my memory? And I can see here Chrome is eating up, what, three gigs of memory? What's going on? So many windows open, I can go and investigate it. If any app stops responding and doesn't work, go into the taskbar, right click on it, and then choose End Tasks. All of this is gonna help with your computer's performance. And you can see that by clicking on performance at the top. And here you can see a nice graph of my ethernet, what's going on there, my CPU, my memory. I can click into each one, looking for anomalies, looking for major spikes. Now click at the top, click on startup. And here you can see all the applications, who published them and what the status is. These are the stuff that loads automatically when you start up your computer. 
I don't need all the stuff to load. So what I can do is select the individual applications. For example, here is Skype. Why is that running when I switch on my computer? All I need to do is right click on that and then choose disable. If I disabled something by mistake, no problem. Right click on it and then choose enable. So there you can reverse anything that you do. Our power tip over here, you see Windows Explorer, sometimes this becomes non-responsive. Let me simulate that. I'm gonna right click on that, I'm gonna choose end task. And look what happens. No taskbar, desktop disappears. What's going on? It happens, don't panic. Because in your taskbar, what you can do is click on file, click on run new task, and then simply type there Explorer. Once you do that, and then you press enter or okay, Guess what it does? Launches the Explorer and everything is back to normal. That is pretty good to know. If you saw my last Windows videos, you know all about the kernel and apps that are constantly running in memory. But how do you check if there's nothing wrong with your computer's memory? Simple, just run this tool. Back to the search we go and this time we're gonna type in this command, M-D-S-C-H-E-D. And you see this application pops up windows memory diagnostic and there are two options you can restart your computer now to check for your memory or you can select the bottom option which is check for problems next time you restart your computer all built in to windows now we know for your computer to work it obviously has hardware and software that has to come together to give you that windows awesome experience the hardware relies on something called drivers which are like a set of files that the hardware uses to tell it what to do and how to work sometimes these drivers fail or they have issues and they need to get updated well let me show you how you can check all this and how you can update your drivers so in your windows search this time we're going to type device manager this has been around for absolute ever great little utility needs to be used more you can see here when you open the device manager, it's everything that's connected to your computer, all the hardware and the software drivers that it has to make that particular hardware work. Why it's important to know about this, let's just say my monitor isn't behaving correctly. I can open up that monitor, I can right click on my particular monitor and then choose properties. And this time it will tell you under device status, hey, is this working okay? Or is there something that needs to be done? If there's something that needs to be done under driver, you have an option to see the details but you want to update the driver. You want the very, very latest. Click on update driver and two options. I can search for the driver automatically or I can browse it for my computer if I downloaded a specific one. And here it is, it's telling me that, hey, look, you do have the latest, so you're all cool to go. So if you've added something new to your computer and it's not working, click on action, scan for hardware changes, and hopefully it will automatically update to the correct drivers. Now, I love this oldie but goodie utility, especially for the people who are running out of hard drive space. Back to the Windows search we go, and this time we're gonna type there, disk cleanup. Let's just notice the typo, Never mind. it still brought it up. Disk cleanup is right there. First thing I wanna do is I wanna go to the bottom and say clean up system files. Click on that, it automatically works out what can be removed from your computer that's safe to remove. Little tick boxes on the left-hand side, tick on those. You can clearly see here, 1.9 gigs are in my recycle bin. Well, if I select all of these and click OK, I'm gonna get that space back. It's always good to know just how much data you use on a monthly basis. This way you can make sure you got the right internet package and the right speed that you need for your usage. It's also important to know just how much data you use in case you have some sort of malware or some sort of virus running on your computer feeding all your data across the world. Well, Windows has a great utility just for that. We're not gonna select the search, but we're gonna click on the little Windows icon and then choose settings now choose network and internet and now you can clearly see under my ethernet for the last 30 days i have used 551 gigs of data that's insane click on data usage what is using up my data and i can see oh okay cloud driven all right great that's my offsite backup but what i'm looking for now is apps that i don't recognize that are actually sending my data offsite and if I see anything, then I may have a virus, I may have malware, and I need to check that out. Everybody knows about the Windows calculator, but did you know that it does more than just add, subtract, multiply, and divide? In your search bar, we're gonna type there calc for calculator. That's gonna open it up, and now you're gonna see your trusty calculator. Now, if you click on the little hamburger menu, you can change it to scientific, and then under trig, of course, you can use the PsyCos 10 rule, which all of us, of course, use on a daily basis. 
and a whole bunch more. It's got things like a date calculator. And my personal favorite is a whole bunch of converters, especially the currency converters, the length, the weight and mass, temperatures. It's simple, it's effective, and it's right there within your windows. Are there any other utilities that you use that we should absolutely know about? Let us know in the comments below and check out this video over here that YouTube knows that you would absolutely love. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video. Let's go, this video over here, let's go.